All right, so let's get started to create the UVs for the main part of the rim. Go here to show all and select that piece. Um, hit Alt H to hide everything else in your scene. And now go in and say, OK, we want to do an automatic map on that main piece of that rim. Go in here and take a look at the UV texture editor. Well, it's looking weird, but all you got to do now is select the object. And then, OK, let's um, focus on the pieces uh, that we really need to be laid out nicely, OK? So go in here and say Paint Selection Tool. And select you know only a few pieces on the outer ring of that rim. So go back to the UV texture editor and hit Q on your keyboard to um, de um, exit the paint selection tool. And now go in and say, okay, hit to Control F12 to convert the selected faces to the, um, the corresponding UVs, okay? So in here, um, let's go to select and go to shell. Um, move those guys up. Let's check those out. It's looking good. Looking good. Just looking if you're missing, you know, uh, a face or something. Oh, there you go. So there's one face missing, but that um, that wouldn't. Uh, it's not a problem at all. So I'm gonna select this later on. So now <coughs> I go in and say, okay, select face, uh, select all the faces. And uh, so now we know there's one face missing. So we have to, oh, there it is. We have to find that. Uh, shift select that. And then go in and say, okay, for um, all the selected faces, we want to create a, um, a single UV set, okay? So because those faces are the, the ones we, we really need to be laid out. Uh, kind of like nice, okay? Go in here, say planar mapping, uh, say um, bounding box from the x-axis, that's fine. And all you need to do down here is, um, okay, check on this, create a new UV set, and call it whatever you want. I called mine rim underscore bump underscore UV, and say, okay, apply. So now, with that, we have uh, one UV set, on the same mesh um, for the parts that we need and we get one UV set for the rest of it. And as you can see here on the uh, original UV set we still have the UVs that we don't want to be on on this UV set, okay? So go in here and yeah we can say okay control to F12 so we get all the UVs selected um, and say okay, go to Polygon and delete UVs. So we should have deleted the UVs from this UV set. So and if you're changing to the other UV set, they're still there. Okay. What we can do now is um, select all the UVs from our main UV set and say okay, layout. And let's uh, check the options box first. Go in here and yeah, just leave it. Leave everything uh, on the default. So I'm gonna reset my settings. So okay, spacing preset. Let's set this to a 2K map. Okay. So now let's go in and say layout UVs. There you go. And I wanna lay out those um, in a in a way that I can later on go and uh, Photoshop and, and uh, you know, find um, what is, you know, up here and comes then and then and then. Okay, um, let's do this. Let's try to find um, maybe this part right here, up, up here first. Go in and say, okay, object mode, paint selection tool. Select only a few faces, bring up the uh, texture edit editor again, and say, okay, this is the one that we want to, to have on top. Go to UVs.
and select the shell and let's move that up and let's rotate that scale the rotate tool down um, by hitting minus on your keyboard um, next to the uh, numpad and let's say okay we want to have this kind of like this okay let's uh, search the next one this one here go to UV select the shell and do this you know all the way around um, you don't need to um, uh, watch me doing this so I'm gonna I'm gonna try to you know search all the pieces all the way around so I can you know figure out uh, later on in Photoshop um, how to you know where where I put some some texture or bump map on. Okay, so let me pause the video for a second to um, lay this out, and I'll be back. Uh, so here we go. This is how my UV layout looks like. Uh, so I'm gonna take a, a snapshot of my UVs from that ring um, that I just created. Um, I go in and call this. Um, rem underscore bump underscore uv um, I'm creating a 2k map um, and hit ok and it says ok file exists uh, because I already saved it out overwrite yes so the next step will be going into Photoshop so I'm gonna pause the video for a second and to load up Photoshop to show you how to create a bump map and the texture map for that inner piece of that rim okay so see you in the next video